I brought you toast for you, Mr. Adam J. Sir. Thanks, Geeky Man. Uh. Yeah, sorry I shot you, by the way. Uh, how's the wound doing? Well, the pains, they come and go. Huh? How did you burn? What do you mean? Did, did, did you ask for the toast? I, I made the toast and. What, did you have it on incinerate? How did you burn? How did you burn? How did you burn? Adam, you're scaring me. How did you burn? How did you burn? How did you burn? How did you burn? Two words, sir. Anger management. The 1970s proved to be a more aggressive era for horror and film. Movies were becoming increasingly bloodier and more grotesque in nature, and the advent of exploitation cinema had arrived. Exploitation cinema was the use of extreme violence and sexuality in films that had extremely over-the-top premises, and for horror it all started with Blackula. As ridiculous as that is, Blackula is a straightforward retelling of the story of Dracula but through the perspective and time frame of black culture. Blackula was created by Dracula himself, and the creature would follow many of the tropes that would soon be seen in black exploitation films and the grindhouse cinema that became hugely popular during the 1970s. Horror would reach its highest points with the release of The Exorcist. When a little girl becomes possessed by a demon, it is up to her mother and a priest to deal with the supernatural forces and save this little girl. Shunned as not being a serious writer, the writer of The Exorcist decided to show Hollywood that despite his writing of comedy, he could do something serious and gave us The Exorcist, resulting in one of the scariest movies, if not the scariest movie of all time. It was the most gruesome, gorious, and violent horror film ever made for its time, and it stands up pretty well against other films till this very day. It scared the hell out of people in the 70s, and even resulted in some viewers becoming extremely ill upon being exposed to the film. It was literally too extreme and ahead of its time. The film would reach legendary status and get Oscar praise, but despite all it achieved, William Peter Belantley was still not a respected writer in Hollywood. Now his work was too extreme to take on, and Linda Blair, the film star, would become typecasted and became relegated to B-movie stardom instead of becoming a real movie star. The aggressive style of the 70s would continue with Wes Craven's The Last House on the left. When a group of teenage delinquents torture, rape, and murder an innocent girl in the forest, their parents go on a violent vendetta brutally torturing and killing off their daughter's victimizers. I would also argue that this movie and era is what inspired the torture porn genre of film, because while brutal and horrific, it is not scary in the traditional sense, but more so in the psychological. You get to see the potential horrors of reality and the extremes normal people, in this case the parents, can go to when pushed. Join us next time as we further look into the exploitation cinema within the genre of horror as we travel down its dark road.